everyone. My name is Amaka and this is Nizama's teaching. You're welcome to today's tutorial. Thanks for being here. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a pencil skirt with a stretchy fabric. So, now this is the fabric I'll be using. This is my fabric. Now, this is a scuba fabric. You see that it's stretchy. Now, my fabric is folded into two. This is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my waistline. Now, from this point, I'm going to take, now I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement. Now, for me to do that, I'm going to, now this skirt is going to have band. It's going to have band. So, I'm taking my measurement from one, and the band is 1.5 inches. So, I'm taking my measurement from this 1.5 inches. So, I'll mark. I'm taking my measurement from this 1.5 inches. So, I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement. Now, from the waist to the hip, my hip point is 8 inches. And the full length of the skirt is 22 inches plus 1.5 inches hemming allowance. I'll connect the points. Now, on this point, which is my waistline, I'm going to take my waist measurement on the on the waistline. Now, my waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. Now, on the on the hip point, my hip circumference is I'm going to on the hip point. I'm going to take my hip measurement on the hip point. My hip circumference is my hip circumference is 40 inches, 40 divided by 4 gives you 10 inches. So I'm going to mark 10 inches here. Now from this point, I'm going to come down by 2 inches. And the same measurement I have here, I'm going, I'm going to bring it down here, 10 inches. Now on this point, I'm going to take my hip measurement on the hem. Now this measurement I have here, 10 inches. I'm also bringing it down here, 10 inches. Now this is my 10 inches, but because this skirt is a pencil skirt, I'm going to minus 1.5 inches from this 10 inches. So that, that brings me back to 8.5 inches. So I'm going to mark the same 8.5 inches on this line. And I'll connect the I'll connect the points just like this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is this. Now, this care doesn't have that. It doesn't have that and it doesn't have seam allowance because the fabric is stretchy. This is a stretchy fabric. This is a scuba fabric. It doesn't have seam allowance. It's not going to have seam allowance and it's not going to have that. So from this point, from the waist point, I'm going to come down by half inch. And from this point, I'll go up by half inch. And I'll connect this point to this point, just like this. Now, this will help the skirt to sit nicely on the waist. Now I'm going to add my seam allowance. Now this is the main line now. This is the main line. So I'm adding my seam allowance from this line. So I'm adding half inch. Now I'm 
going to cut it. going to have a zipper. The skirt is not going to have a zipper. It's a because the fabric is stretchy, it's not going to have a zipper. Now I'm going to transfer this. I'm going to transfer what I have here to this one. Now this front panel, I'm going to trace this front panel. I'll trace out what I have on this front panel on the back. The back panel is not going to have a zipper because this fabric is a stretchy fabric. So I'm going to remove this and finish the back. So now, on, on this point, I'm going to come up by half inch so that the back is going to, it's going to align with the front panel so that the back will be equal with the front panel. So on this point, just the same way I came up from here at the front panel, from here I came up by half inch. So I'm going to come up by half inch as well. And I'm just going to connect this point to this point. Just like this. And I'm going to mark my seam allowance, half inch seam allowance. Sorry, now this is the main line. This is the main line. So I'm marking my seam allowance on this line. So I'm going to cut it. So this is the back. Now this is the back and this is the front. Let me indicate so that I don't mix it up. Now I'm going to cut out the band. Now I've cut out the band. Now this is my band. This band is supposed to be it's supposed to be long like this, but the fabric is small, so I have to cut it this way. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew this together with half inch. I'll sew it together with half inch seam allowance. I did it like this because the the fabric the fabric is was not long enough. To give me this measurement so I have to cut it this way so what I'm going to do I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew half inch I'm going to use half inch to join this together and now this is my skirt now what I have here is four inches four inches when I place it on fold when I place it on fold I'm going to have two inches two inches now I'm going to use half inch I'm going to use half inch to sew half inch. I'm going to use half inch as my seam allowance. Then I'll be left with one point. I'll 
then I'll be left with 1.5 inches. Now the next thing I'm going to do again, now this is my skirt, this is the front panel and this is the back panel. So I'm going to place this on this, just like this. And I'm going to sew, I'm going to sew with one inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew this with one inch seam allowance and I'll sew here with one inch seam allowance. So now I've sewn, I've sewn the skirt. I've sewn the skirt, I used one inch seam allowance. And now this is the band, I've joined the band. So this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to sew it. I'm going to, I'm, now I'm going to, I'll start by sewing. Let me illustrate with pin. So I'm going to sew it this way. Now this part is open, this part is open. So I'm going to use, I'm going to, I'm going to place my band this way and I will sew it with, with half inch seam allowance. I'll sew one part with half inch seam allowance. So after sewing with half inch seam allowance, just like this, I'm going to turn this, I'm going to turn this and I'll, I'll turn this to this part. I am going to fold in half inch seam allowance. I'm going to fold in half inch seam allowance and I'll sew. I'll sew this with half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to sew it and turn it to this part. I'm going to sew it round. Okay, let me just, let me use pin and do it. Uh, so I'm going to fold in half inch just like this. I'll fold in half inch and I'll sew on it. I'll top stitch. I'll top stitch. Now, just to have a, a neat finishing, I'm going to top stitch. So when I top stitch, I'm going to have something like this. From here, you're not going to see the seam allowance from the from here, and you will not see the seam allowance from here. I'm going to have a neat finishing. So I'm going to ask how I'm going to do it round, and I'm going to end here. When I end here, I will use one inch and sew it. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. So this is my skirt. I'm done sewing. I've also hemmed the lower part. I've attached to the band. Now this is the band. When you look at it from here, you're not seeing the seam allowance inside and you're not seeing the seam allowance outside. So that's just it with this tutorial. This skirt is very easy to make. Very easy. I'm going to give it a thorough press. Then I'm going to wear it on my mannequin and show you what it looks like. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Nizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.